Hello and welcome back to Fem Design video lessons. In this video, you will learn how to perform a deflection check for your bar and shell elements in Fem Design software. We are going to start from Analysis tab. Here you can see from the quick tools that I have already performed and basic load combinations analysis for my model. In here, you will find deflection check tools. First, you will configure the deflection check according to load combinations. Here I have set all the load combinations to be considered in my deflection check. You can simply activate or non-activate these by clicking them here. First, you will find the bar deflection length setup here you will have a couple options. Here you can define, for example, if I zoom in, you can see when I open this, you, you start to see the deflection uh, length uh, uh, line here. And uh, by define tool, I can click here to my column and I can change this deflection length for this column or uh, whichever bar I choose to change it. Uh, what you can also do here is by properties, you can click into the bar or in this column. And here you can set the deflection limits uh, for your part uh, according to load combination. Just like relative limit and absolute limit for different combinations. Uh, by uh, changing this to beams, you can simply do the same things for the beams. For example, I can click here and change the deflection length like this. I can also use the properties here and here you can see the same uh, setups for my beam. For the shell, uh, when I activate this, I can actually see the shell deflections, deflection lengths here. And if I wish to change that, I can simply uh, snap onto the shell and draw the area or the deflection region to my shell here. I can also uh, click my shell with properties like this. And here I can see uh, the section uh, or the checking criteria here and here is deflection. And here I can see the uh, data, data that uh, FemDesign will find according to drawn region here. And then I can see the relative limits and absolute limits. And of course, if I want to check for the rotation, uh, then I can see the rotation limit there. I'm just going to click OK here. And after you have uh, set all the starting uh, settings correctly, you can use the check tool here. First, I'm going to check, make the check for the bars. Uh, I'm going to select here bars and then I'm going to select check. Now I can see from the utilization chart here that uh, most of my bars are under 100% utilization, but some of them are appearing uh, with the red color here. And I can see that the utilization for these bars is over 100%. I can do this uh, check for shells by clicking here and here. And now I have performed the deflection check for the shell elements also. And here I can check uh, which shells uh, are under 100% utilization and which ones are over 100%. Uh, from the quick tools, uh, you can see that now there appears a deflection part also. And from here, I can select load combinations and for bars and shells, I can uh, easily go through them load combination uh, by uh, different load combinations. I can, I, and I can also choose to check value of uh, that deflection or the utilization. Let's see, for example, for the utilization here, I can see, uh, actually, I can see a couple of the bars <coughs> that were 
over 100% in utilization. And I can also check the value, for example, for these bars as a color coded. And I can do the same checking for the shell elements in my model, like this. Yep, this was all for this video. I hope you learned something new. I want to thank you for watching and see you in the next one.